Welcome back to Cosmic Weekly on Beyond the Cosmos. This week we're talking about new discoveries around the sources of dark energy, the Mars Ingenuity helicopter and also Perseverance rover, the European Space Agency's new mission called Neomir, the three objects shot down in the past week by US fighter jets, and finally, four presidents making their way to space after their death. Observations of supermassive black holes at the centres of galaxies suggest they could be the sources of dark energy, the hypothetical energy believed to make up 70% of the universe and is responsible for its accelerating expansion. The mass of black holes is millions to billions times that of the mass of our sun, creating extremely strong gravity. By studying 9 billion years of black hole evolution, researchers found that the growth of black holes in giant elliptical galaxies is much larger than predicted by accretion or mergers. And the measured amount of dark energy in the universe can be accounted for by black hole vacuum energy. The concept of dark energy was proposed in the 1990s as the cause of accelerating expansion, which was linked to Einstein's discarded cosmological constant that opposed gravity and kept the universe from collapsing. Vacuum energy, a type of energy included in space-time itself, accelerates the universe's expansion by pushing it further apart. The observations of black hole evolution and related populations of galaxies at different points in the universe's evolution provide evidence that black hole vacuum energy could be the source of dark energy. The Ingenuity Mars helicopter has completed its 43rd flight on the Red Planet, covering more ground than any single flight in nearly a year. The latest hop covered 1,280 feet or 390 meters of red planet ground making it the longest flight in 10 months. Although this latest flight didn't set a record, Ingenuity's longest ever flight occurred on April 8, 2021 when the little robot flew 2,310 feet or 710 meters. Despite being a technology demonstration originally supposed to fly just 5 times on Mars, Ingenuity has now flown a total of 28,968 feet or 8.8 .8 kilometers during its 43 flights. Ingenuity has transitioned out of its original mission and is now serving as a scout for the Perseverance rover which is searching for signs of past Mars life and collecting and caching dozens of samples for future return to Earth. Perseverance has now put 9 miles or 14.57 kilometers on its odometer since touching down and is beginning to climb up Jezero's ancient delta formation to explore this different and intriguing environment. On the topic of Perseverance, NASA's Perseverance Mars rover has completed and then taken photos of the first ever off-Earth sample depot built on Mars, which contains 10 sealed titanium sample tubes. The rover constructed the depot on a patch of Martian ground called Three Forks over a period of five weeks, beginning on December 21, 2022. A joint NASA-European Space Agency campaign plans to bring the cache home to Earth in about a decade from now. The cache could be retrieved by two Ingenuity-like helicopters that would launch with the sample retriever lander, in case Perseverance is no longer able to ferry the samples. Perseverance's two main tasks are to hunt for signs of past Mars life and collect samples for future return to Earth. Baseline sample return architecture calls for Perseverance to deliver its sealed tubes to a rocket-equipped NASA lander, which will then launch them to Mars orbit. An ESA-built Earth return orbiter will collect the tubes and haul the samples back to Earth, perhaps as early as 2033. The rover has sealed three of its five witness tubes and 18 of its 38 sample tubes to date. The European Space Agency is developing a new space mission called NEOMIR that will function as an early warning system for asteroids that are difficult to detect. The spacecraft will orbit the L1 Lagrange point between Earth and the Sun and will be equipped with a half-meter telescope capable of detecting asteroids that are 20 meters or larger and approaching Earth from the direction of the Sun. This region is difficult to observe from the ground due to the Sun's glare, but NEOMIR will use infrared light to detect the heat emitted by asteroids that cannot be seen from Earth-based telescopes. It will be able to detect approaching asteroids at least three weeks in advance, providing an important opportunity to prepare and take action in case of a potential collision. In the worst case scenario, where an asteroid is detected passing near the spacecraft, at least three days warning will be provided. The spacecraft is currently in the early mission study phase and is expected to be launched in 2030 on an Ariane 62 rocket. The three mysterious objects shot down recently by US fighter pilots showed no signs of being alien spacecraft according to White House officials. The fighter jets took out one object off the coast of northern Alaska, 
one over the Yukon in northwestern Canada, and the third one was above Lake Huron. The origin of these aerial intruders is likely to be private, and there is no indication of aliens or any other extraterrestrial activity, said the White House press secretary. Although many analysts are saying that the reason the government took decisive action against these particular UFOs was to turn the public's attention away from the Ohio train derailment which occurred on February 3rd, 2023. The train was carrying hazardous materials and burned for over two days. Emergency crews then conducted a controlled burn of several of the rail cars which released hydrogen chloride and phosgene into the air. And finally, Celestis, a Texas-based company that specializes in space burials, plans to send hair samples of former US presidents George Washington, John F. Kennedy, Dwight D. Eisenhower and Ronald Reagan into space along with authenticated DNA. It will also send some of the cremated remains of Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry and other cast members. The samples of the former president's hair were gifted by an anonymous donor and were accompanied by certificates of authenticity. Celeste said that the samples were originally from the collection of Louis Mushroux, a celebrity hair collector and appraiser from Michigan who died in 2014. The hair samples and the thimble-sized capsules of cremated remains are scheduled to be launched later this year on the ULA Vulcan rocket on its maiden flight to be sent into deep space. And that's all for this week's episode of Cosmic Weekly. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learnt something new. Make sure you subscribe so you know exactly when we've posted a new video, and join us again next week for more exciting space news. Until then, keep looking up.